Hello everybody, Scott Golden here with the Golden Opportunities Coaching YouTube channel. Welcome to those of you who are new. Welcome back to those of you seasoned veterans of what we do around here. What we do around here is we raise subjects of a variety of topics uh, in the mental health, emotional, wellness, and coaching related areas. And we give audios. We've got over 440 of those at this point. And um, it is totally awesome to see things grow. Please like, subscribe, comment below so we can give some money to charity. Once we hit 1,000 subscribers, we'll be able to do that. And until uh, then, please continue to spread the word. Or even beyond then, please continue to spread the word about the work we do here. In any event, uh, this particular audio is about um, something that I'm really passionate about. And that is helping people get past kind of when that crush is no longer... Uh, a useful thing. We also had crushes that don't work. And if you're looking for a relationship business or creativity entertainment coaching, please feel free to reach out at PO Perception on Twitter and or here on YouTube. Just go to the About Me section, go to my website, and find the information you need. But in any event, um, there's about five or six things I want to go over in today's audio that has to do with kind of that balance of you know, when is it time to let go of the crush? When is it time to kind of come out of the fantasy world back into the more more here here and now tangible world and go, you know what, that may not be for me. Now, there's, there's uh, five things I want to run through there. Uh, and so the first is if they're in a relationship. This is the most simple one, but the reality is here's, here's the scenario there. Either... You spend a lot of time waiting for something that may or may not happen in terms of them breaking up with their crush or them talking to their, or their relationship or them breaking up that relationship and or them including you as like a third party in a polyamorous situation or um, them creating a disagreement to get out of their situation. Realizing, too, that if they're getting out of their situation and jumping right into something with you, they're not healed from that previous situation, so you're carrying all the baggage with them that they haven't cleared from within themselves emotionally um, if you kind of are in that situation. The other option, too, is if they're willing to, to cheat for you or to emotionally be unfaithful or to kind of double-dip relationally, what they'll do for you, they'll do on you is the old saying. And so what's the proof that you have or the likelihood that you have that they won't, if they become bored or frustrated with your relationship with them, do the exact same thing in the future. And that's obviously not something the average person wants to deal with. So just stay away from people who are already in relational situations that they're not, you know, working on getting rid of or exiting or, or dealing with, and they haven't given themselves time to heal. The next is if you're in the friend zone with a person, this can be really frustrating. Um, if we have an attraction to somebody... A lot of times our belief is, oh, they'll notice me sooner or later. If I hang out long enough, if I'm here long enough, if I'm consistent with them long enough, they'll notice me. They have to because they'd be dumb not to. Right? That's how we think because we see the value in them and why wouldn't they see the value in us? The problem becomes most people don't see that value. And if they put you in the friend zone, leaving it can take months or years. And again... Life is short, even if we have 100 years, it's a short length of time, and the reality of trying to find somebody else is, is something that you could do, or maybe not, but if you're waiting for a person to change and it takes them months or years, the resentment you're going to feel for being friends with them for so long will eventually come to the surface, and when it does, that's going to be an uncomfortable realization and, and kind of working through. So if you've been friend zoned, it's probably time to move forward. The next thing is they don't give you attention. Whether it's the fact that they that they you know don't know that you that you have interest in them, or they've kind of given you attention a little bit, and then they lost interest and kind of went the other way, and they had U shiny syndrome, and they kind of found something that got their attention further, or they just stopped caring, whatever that looks like. That's you know that's there and. And so if you're not getting attention from being de dealing with them at any level, it's, it's another sign. If your friends or family or loved ones, people that matter to you, are starting to worry about you because you're becoming obsessed with the outcome of the situation, that's another sign it's time to walk away. 
Because here's the reality. There's 7 billion people on the planet. All you need is one to like you. Just because one, one person doesn't see your value in the way you want to be seen doesn't mean you have no value. But if you're willing to give away, and here's where it gets dangerous, to give away your value because another person doesn't necessarily see you in the way you want to be seen, that becomes problematic all the way around. The next thing is they're leading you on. And it's because they're gaining something from you or they're using you for something, even if validation of their own importance or how special they are or, you know, um, maybe maybe you're giving them money or you're giving them attention or you're helping them with homework or you're helping them with their self-esteem issues or whatever it is. They may have an ulterior motive in dealing with you. And if the relationship isn't going in a direction that's mutually beneficial for both of you, it's time to cut it off because the longer you stay, two things are true. The harder it will be to leave it behind emotionally and mentally. And the more resentment you're going to have to deal with in kind of clearing the energy and the thoughts and the feelings around a person going forward. So hopefully that's helpful for you. Until next time, um, I encourage you to keep your feet on the ground, your mind in the moment. Till next time, everybody.